Have you ever wondered why you always reach for the same mug when you want to make a cup of coffee? Why your father has a designated spot in the lounge room and although it's never been said, everyone knows that's dad's spot. Have you realized that you usually do the same thing every morning and your day pans out in a set and structured routine like it does every other day? If you track your day and your week, you'll come to the realization that man is a creature of habit, which tends to make a life a little dull at times. Even our dua, our tasbih and our prayer are in a routine. We read the same surah from the Qur'an in every prayer. We make the same tasbih in our ruku and our sujood. Another worship, another chore, another routine. Take a minute, right now, right this second. Reflect about your last prayer. Which surah did you read in the first rukah after Al-Fatiha? Did you even think about which surah you were going to read? Can you even remember what surah you read? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an after A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ أَمْ عَلَى قُلُوبٍ أَقْفَالُهَا Let's pose a question, shall we? When you make wudu, what is your intention? We pose this question to a sample of Muslims in Sydney. 58% said my intention is to make wudu. 42% said my intention when making wudu is to pray. They seem like the obvious choice, don't they? Imagine putting your mind out of the habitual routine of making wudu. Imagine making wudu with more than one intention. Increase your intentions for wudu by making the intention to prepare for prayer, to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do what He has ordered you to do, to follow the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and also to wash away your sins. All of a sudden, you are conscious of your intentions, you have increased your rewards, you are in tune with your Creator and out of the thoughtless routine. This is for wudu. How about the prayer? What's stopping us from being dynamic in our prayers? Maybe the same thoughtless routine that was the barrier in our wudu. Or the excuses we always pull out of our hat like, I don't have time. It's too hard. I don't know Arabic. I can never be like the companions radiallahu anhum. Or maybe we're just not aware that our Prophet Muhammad was quite dynamic in his prayer. Why not learn more of the Qur'an and read the surahs other than Surah Al-Ikhlas in every ruk'ah? Jabir radiallahu anhu reported that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, The most excellent prayer is that in which the duration of standing is longer. The hadith is found in Bukhari. Let's learn Surah Tabarak, Surah Al-Qiyamah, Surah Al-Waqi'ah or Surah Al-Rahman. You don't know Arabic or you can't memorize quick enough? Even a few verses a week will do the job. Find the solution. This is your prayer. Let us enlighten you with some of the sayings Prophet Muhammad used to say in his salah. He would open the prayer with the dua. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik wa tabarak asmuk wa ta'ala jadduk wa la ilaha ghayruk. But he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would say it other times as well. Allahumma ba'id bayni wa bayna khatayaya kama ba'adta bayna al-mashriqi wal-maghrib. Allahumma naqini min khatayaya kama yunaqqa al-thawb al-abyad min al-danas. Allahumma ghsilni min khatayaya bithalj wal-ma'i wal-barad. And he also used to say it other times. Allahu akbar kabira, Allahu akbar kabira. Allahu Akbar Kabira, Walhamdulillahi Kathira, Walhamdulillahi Kathira, Walhamdulillahi Kathira, Wasubahan Allahi Bukratan wa Asila, Wasubahan Allahi Bukratan wa Asila, Wasubahan Allahi Bukratan wa Asila, Audu Billahi Minash Shaytan, Min Nafhihi, Wanafihi, Wahamzih. When we were kids, 
we were told that in our ruku' we should say Subhan Rabbi al Azim, Subhan Rabbi al Azim, Subhan Rabbi al Azim. And we were also told that in our sujood we should say Subhan Rabbi al A'la, Subhan Rabbi al A'la, Subhan Rabbi al A'la. However, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu would say so many other dua. For example, in ruku' he would say Subhanak Allahumma Rabbana wa bihamdik. Allahumma ghfirli. And he would also say, Allahumma laka raka'at, wa bika amant, wa laka aslamt, khash'a laka sam'i wa basari, wa mukhi wa azmi wa asabi, wa mastaqalla bihi qadami. And in sujood he would say, Subhana rabbiya al-a'la wa bihamdihi. He would also say, Allahumma laka sajad, wa bika amant, wa laka aslamt, سجد وجهي للذي خلقه وصوره وشق سمعه وبصره تبارك الله أحسن الخالقين. And he would say at other times, اللهم أعوذ برضاك من صحتك وبمعافاتك من عقوبتك وأعوذ بك منك لا أحصي ثناء عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك. Let's strengthen our prayers. It's time to think. It's time to stimulate our minds and our hearts. It's time to keep our khushur at every prayer on its toes. Let's not be predictable. Let's not be lazy. Let's get out of the routine.